Well, as we saw just a moment ago, hosts at Cameroon did very well in that opening match, beating Egypt 2-0. And we heard from our sports analyst in Cameroon, Eugene Fongwe, that of course Cameroonians are very happy with that result. Let's find out what the Egyptians think about it. Inas Marzar joins us now live from Cairo. Uh, Inas, of course, uh, your reaction to that result of this uh, tournament opener, Cameroon versus Egypt. Egypt, of course, losing their 2-0. Well, I can tell you, my dear, that the result was expected. I mean, this is only the second appearance for Egypt uh, in the Africa Cup of Nations for women. And uh, the first time was back in 1998. That was a long time ago, almost 18 years. So now this is the second appearance for Egypt. Uh, the, the, they have been training very hard for this competition. But, but you see, we know our level. Uh, I mean... Uh, the, the Cleopatras are not the pharaohs, they are not like the men's team. And uh, yes, they play in a regular league uh, uh, here in Egypt in the domestic competition, but it's still not as powerful as the men's league. So I can tell you also playing in Group A among teams like Cameroon and, um, and South Africa, whom they have appeared in almost every edition of the, of the Africa Cup of Nations. I mean, this is a very strong competition uh, for Egypt. They are going to play, of course, uh, to make a good impression. But actually, uh, w w there, are, there are doubts that they can make it to the final stages of the competition. And as you say, Inas, the Cleopatras are not the pharaohs. But do you think enough has been done to invest in the Cleopatras in the hopes that one day they might replicate that level of success that you see uh, in the men's uh, team when it comes to the continental football stage? Uh, I'm afraid I didn't hear the question properly. Inas, just looking at the uh, amount of investment that has been uh, given towards the women's team, whether or not it is really enough for them to be able to be uh, one day as strong as the men's team. Well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not pretty sure if I heard you correctly, but uh, I mean, if we are talking about uh, the, the, the competition and going further, I think the, 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 the Egyptians are going to take the rest of the competition game by game. I mean, they, are, they still have other uh, matches to play against South Africa and also against Zimbabwe. So I think they are going to take uh, the rest of the tournament game by game. It's, it's very difficult for them. They, they just want to make a good impression and a good result. Uh, because I believe that this competition for Egypt is very important because it, it might raise awareness more to uh, women's football here in Egypt and, and draw the attention of the media, of the official sports officials here in Egypt in order to become a, a better competition. All right, Inas Maza joining us there from Cairo. Thanks very much. Her thoughts on uh, the women's performance uh, in, of course, that's a competition there in Cameroon.